Start with a size 20 nymph hook and thread on your bead, going through the smaller hole first. Lay down a base layer with your thread, going back into the start of the bend of the hook. Take some crystal flash and tie in the tail. Line it up on the side closer to you, then take a few wraps and the friction will slide the flash up towards the top of the hook shank. Snap or clip off a few inches of small gold wire and tie it in in the same way. Then take thread wraps and start evening out the base layer. Adjust how far into the bend you want the abdomen to go. Here I have it going a little further than my first layer of thread. Take wraps up and down the body and form a taper with the thickest part of the body coming even with the bead head. Do a half hitch or two turn whip finish to secure the thread while you wrap the wire. If your vise has a rotary function, this is a good time to use it. Carefully take evenly spaced wraps with the wire and end behind the bead head. Take wraps with your thread to cinch down the wire, then helicopter off the waist. If you stop here, you'll have a perfectly fishable zebra midge. However, I like to add a little collar, so take a peacock hurl, clip off an inch or two of the brittle tip, and tie in the hurl right behind the bead. Carefully take wraps with the hurl, trying your best not to snap off. I actually avoid the rotary function for this part because I tend to get carried away and put too much tension on the feather. With finish, then clip off the excess hurl and thread. Clip off the flash so it's about a body's width, and that's it! You can apply a little head cement if you'd like. This is a very effective pattern and a great way to start tying smaller flies. Give it a shot and let me know what you think in the comments.